so the time has come for the final vehicle of the casino heist drip feed hello and welcome to today's episode of well no that is the old intro basically welcome back to another gta online video my name is wolfman and we are going to be doing a little recap of the drip feed vehicles we have received from rockstar before getting to the end we are going to start with the war stock cash and carry cars oh excuse me first off we got the military evade and persuade tank for 2.2 million dollars but for free if you logged in during christmas basically like the rc car but a tank uh, in the Sports Classic, the JB700W uh, for 1.4 million, which is basically like the normal JP700 that we've been asking for for years, just being able to take away the weapons and the weapons actually doing something on it when you put them on. And the Off Road Zabra, Zabra for 2.4, which is an amphibious vehicle which I believe with no weapon capabilities whatsoever. For the Southern San Andreas Super Autos, we got the Sports Sultan Classic uh, for 1.7 mil. Uh, why it's that much, no one knows. But, you know, it's Rockstar. Let's just get on with it. For the off road, we have the Outlaw, which I believe was Nagasaki, uh, which <clears throat> um, is a bit odd because it's like the. Vagrant, Vagant, whatever it's called, um, that whatever, um, but when you jump it has a very weird auto balancing. Uh, muscle class, the Drift Yosemite, which is basically exactly the same as the normal Yosemite, uh, just with a wider wheel frame, and that's about it, plus it's 1.3 million dollars. Uh, sports again, the Segoy from Dinka at 1.2 million. This car I do especially like. It's front wheel drive, so it handles a little differently, but it's a nice, casual looking car with some pretty decent com customizations. And for the compacts is the Blister Kanju for $580,000, which turns like it's on ice. Basically, you turn the wheel and it does nothing. You keep going into the wall that you're flying at thinking you're going to do a drift. For the legendary motorsports cars, we've got the Super, the um, Garotti Faria for 2.7 mil, which was on the podium vehicle um, quite recently. Uh, I like it. It's not a great deal of speed, but it gets up there with the, the top competitors. Sports, the e Morgan for 2.1 million. Um, horrible car it's on the podium at the moment but trust me if you want it don't buy it try and win it on the podium because trust me it's not worth that two point mil uh, price tag for the sports again the v dash str which again is going to be on the podium vehicles um this one i really this one i actually do like it's 1.2 mil uh pretty nice looking car not a lot of customizations, but where it misses in customizations, it has great handling. Not the fastest, but it's good. Uh, the open wheel races, <coughs> uh, open wheel cars even, sorry. We have the PR4 for 3.5 million, currently the most expensive land vehicle in the game. And the R88 at 3.1. Both <coughs> very competitive. PR4 slightly bit more traction but with the tyre options you should be able to get a decent time and position in the R88 and obviously the last off one we will leave for just a moment while we discuss the current event week <coughs> for this week on starting from yesterday the 5th I'm currently recording this on the 6th of March uh, so this week's 
bonuses and everything we have two times money in rp on the gun running cell missions which are in the hangars um two times money in rp on any missions from the bunker series which are the competitive adversary modes a overflawed and white nagasaki tees just for logging in this week along with 35% uh, off the MOCs and customization options and modifications, the Runa 2000, Sultan RS, and the Scramjet. Um, so, <coughs> not a massive, it's, it's not exactly a massive week this week. Um, obviously, the Twitch Prime again is the usual Pixel Pizza Arcade. 10% additional off any other discounts along with the Zaba for some reason again is still on the Twitch Prime. <coughs> Excuse me. The premium race is Congestion Charge which is at Supers which you're going to need one that's got good speed on this one because it's basically from the casino around the map a little bit a little bit through the city and back to the casino as one lap. Uh, the time trial is end to end which is from the docks in the city all the way up to Palito Bay. The RC Bandito time trial is power station. <coughs> but <coughs> also the as I said before the overflood in Morgon is the podium car which i will leave a link to the video i did on this <clears throat> just because it's it's not a good car for racing so you don't want to spend two million dollars on it and that's just for buying it that's not even including the customization but we the main topic of today is the nagasaki uh Str strider strider i think um Basically, it says from the, the photo that Rockstar made, 3 is best. Is 3 best with this vehicle? Absolutely not. It's a horrible car, bike, whatever you want to call it. It's horrible customizations. It's horrible handling. It's just horrible everything, <clears throat> basically. Um, uh, basically, don't jump in it. Don't do any jumps because you can't control it. So you will flip and you will fall off. Uh, if you land on your head, you can't spin it. Um, the top speed is. I did two tests, which you'll see in this in the uh, in the gameplay. Um, from a like a rolling start, it, I only got it up to 90. Um, from a standing still, the acceleration is actually quite good, but unfortunately, from a standing still. Uh, not so much. It only gets up to about 90 miles an hour, uh, which is kind of pathetic. Uh, I did put it round the test track, which we will see now.
of the race. Just bearing in mind, I do all these as stock, so there's no upgrade advantages whatsoever. Uh, it's actually faster than the Segoy is stock, it's faster than the Dominator, the newest one, it's faster than the Click, the old Dominator, the original, and the original Yosemite. Uh, only just slower than the Duke of Death, which is one of the top muscle cars for a stock race, <coughs> which going by the handling is quite worrying it does there is ways of getting it around tight corners quickly but um, you're not going to be winning races really in this the moment you, you can turn around corners easily but the moment that back wheel comes off the ground whatever direction it is you're turning you're just going to spin straight away so it's really not that good of a car <coughs> a vehicle whatever um, I'm probably going to wait. It's not that much. It's only like about 500,000 or something. I'm probably going to wait for either it to be discounted or get on the podium, which it probably will. But this is just a horrible car, bike, whatever that you just don't buy. If I see anyone riding around on this thing, I'm going to blow it up because it is awful. It truly is a terrible, terrible vehicle. Why it's even in the game, I don't know. It serves no purpose whatsoever. I mean, at least <clears throat> you can fit two people on it. Yeah, fair enough. But the customizations, you can only do like two things. You can do the standard bulletproof tyres, engines and everything. But the only upgrades you've got are the liveries, which I guess are good. And I think some mud flaps. That's about it. That's all you can do with it. <coughs> you can't even change the tyres. Or the rims. You, you can't change the rims for some reason. So, or at least I couldn't. I don't know if it's something wrong with my game, but I couldn't change it. But, anyway, that is pretty much all I've got time for. Um, so, that was the little recap of all of the uh, Casino Heist drip feed vehicles. Not in any order. That, that, that was just in any order. It wasn't any specific order that was just an order that I did because you know I wanted to end with the Nagasaki on the list so but hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, I'm looking forward to see what Rockstar have in store for us after next week obviously we still have some drip feed vehicles but what will they introduce next week to fill the void between DLCs um, so Hopefully you guys enjoyed, please leave a like if you did, comment any suggestions or anything you would like me to do, and if you are new and you enjoy the content that you see, then please leave, and please subscribe to see more, and not forget to click the notification bell to be alerted on any new uploads that I may produce onto the channel, and I would just like to say, at the moment of recording this, I did reach... Uh, 1.6 thousand subscribers so thank you to everyone who did that um, also most of my views come from non subscribers so come on, we don't if you enjoy the videos if you're watching them more than once go ahead and subscribe because you're missing out but I will leave that up to your decisions you choose what you want to do but I will see you next week for another GTA video unless I do something in the meantime um, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.